secret location. It's the Tom Likas Show. I got a theory on why they're doing that. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. At 1-800-5800-TOM, it's 1-800-5800-866. I'm your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session with Mike on Lycus 101. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I got some good stuff for you. Check it out, bro. All right, so I got a good job, right? Got a great job. Best job in the world. Finds out, come, turns out, there's a little string attached, right? So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, going, hmm, all right, a little hot, little spicy little number. Good looking girl sitting right across from my desk. Do I do, I do, I do, I do it, or do I know? Okay? I'm sitting there thinking to myself, going, oh man, dude, don't, don't poop. Don't eat where you poop, dude. Don't eat where you poop. Don't eat where you poop, right? The good old adage, right? right. You never, never do it, right? Right. What did I do? What did I do? I did it, right? You got did involved, it. Got involved with the girl at work, right? All right. Yes, so, you're taking a long time to tell this story. I'm going to have to ask you to step it up a bit. Okay, so take it up. I don't know if you're eating. I don't know if you're eating dinner or smoking weed or what you're doing over there, but you got to step it up. <laughs> yeah, I'll step it up, dude. All right. So anyways. Long story short, dude, banging her, banging her, banging her, doing her good, doing her good, doing her right, doing her right, doing it all good. Next thing you know, she's banging other dudes in the office, right? I'm just like going, what, dude? She's a, she's she's the office tramp. Wow, dude, who would have known? Who'd've that's why known? she had. So wait, wait. That's why she had sex with you. Of course, of course, dude. So why are you surprised that she's the office slut? Because dude, when I got when I got on when I got on board when I jumped onto the ship, dude, I thought it was cool. I thought she was like it was that was it because the company's growing. And we thought well, that was that was. That Why was would you again? I'm going to answer the question I'm asking. Why would you think that she would have sex with you if she wasn't the office slut? Well, I didn't know she was the office slut until after I had sex. With but her. why does it matter? But yeah, I guess it doesn't, right? Well, you shouldn't be having sex with anyone in the office anyway. If you like your job, it's a bad idea. Exactly, dog. Yeah, proper. I give you, you proper. Proper. I give you that. Exactly. Okay. That's my bad. That's why I uh, it Yes, up. yes, it is. Uh, and your call is pretty bad, too. It's Frank on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing today? It's okay. It's Likas 101. What can I do for you? I'm just calling to get some advice from you, uh, See, what happened is that, you know, I was in a relation for 10 years with uh, my wife. We have four kids, and uh, one day I got off of work, she was gone. She took the kids, all of her clothes, and their clothes. And Right. How old were you when you got married? I was 22, and she was 16. There you go. That's what you get. That, that's basically, I, I understand that's probably the problem. Now she figured, I mean, I think that she, like, thinks that she missed out on certain things, and now she wants to go do them, but I just think that it's a little late for her to do that, right? Well, you, it doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what she thinks, huh? <laughs> no, it only matters what she thinks. It doesn't matter what you think. And, and now, unless she wants to uh, get a child support and custody of the kids, and now we're fighting for that. But I think that it's just really stupid to put the kids in that situation. I think the best thing to do is, you know, just fight for, you know, for the kids. Both of us stick together to it and maybe work things out. Well, that sounds wonderful on paper. Uh, but she's out there to get laid. And she, and, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure that's what it is, you know, and I've been stupid enough to, you know, just stay home, not do nothing. And, you know, there's girls everywhere, but I think that right now it's just, I mean, it hasn't even been three months. And I still think that she might change her mind later and come back, even though that she hasn't gave me any kind of reason for me to think that. But well, I then, think that. Why it, are you being uh, so unrealistic? What was that? Why are you being so unrealistic? She's giving you no reason to believe that, so why are you believing it? Well, just because of the four kids that we have, and uh, it doesn't I, mean anything. She was sixteen. Was she a virgin when you uh, got with her? No, sir. Huh? How many guys had she been with? 
I really don't know. I never wanted to ask because it would probably ruin the relation if I would have known. Maybe it was one or two. Could have, could have been more. I don't know. At 16. But, but what, what do you think is the best thing for me to do, though? I mean, I'm, I know you got plenty more experience than I do. I, All right you now, can do is out. protect your interests. Do you have an attorney? No, I don't. Why not? I haven't been able to afford one. Pal, if you can't afford an attorney to get divorced, you can't afford to be married. Well, see, I've, I've been working since my oldest son was born, but since we have four kids and... You know, I have to, I'm basically, I supported the whole family the whole time we were together. You know, I bought all the food and all of the Which clothes. is going to be very bad at a divorce because she's going to say I have no job skills. But, but, but you know what? We never got married. It's just that, you know, after 10 years, you know, by law, I guess it's common no, law. You know, see, that... that's why you need an attorney. There is no common law marriage in California. All right. So maybe I should talk to a lawyer then, right? Of course. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I really want to keep the kids, but at the same time, I know they need their mom. Well, you need to work that out with an attorney. And uh, guess what? Uh, getting bad legal advice or no legal advice is more expensive than hiring an attorney. Well, I'm sure, I mean, probably that's true, yes. Let me give you an example. What if she convinced you that common law marriage in California was legal and got you to pay alimony? Well, she's... she's How much would that cost? A whole lot. Well, that's why you need an attorney. Right. But what, what if, uh, cause lately we've been trying to uh, work things out and she's been coming around more. What if, you know, if one of these days, you know, we get together again? What should I do? Should I just accept her again or should I just walk away from it and keep what, Well, I, I, you're asking, that's, that's up to you. Uh, I would have no interest if someone walked out on me. I'd be done. I have a saying in life, I don't press the rewind button. I see. Once you take off a shoe, you don't put it on again, huh? I'm done. That's right. Once I put you out of the recycle bin, I, I don't I don't take in empty cans. That's right. Well, I'm going to think about it, and, you know, I, I've just been thinking about the kids, but then again, if I get back together just because of the kids, it's not going to work out. No. All right. Well, all right, man, thank you for your advice, and I'm just going to look into getting an attorney, I guess. Well, good luck, Frank, and uh, let me know how you make out. Albert, you're on with your professor on Like Us 101. Hello. Oh, man, Tom, I love you, bro. You know, I listen to your show. I've been listening to you for the last two or three months. And uh, I wish I'd, I heard if I had listened to your show two, three years ago. Anyway, here's my dilemma. I met a woman on CatholicSingles.com back in October 2006. She lives in East Coast in Pennsylvania. And I'm a professional hotelier. I live out here in Orange County. Now, I met her online. We exchanged phone numbers. And in November, she was disappeared. We did not talk for like two months. Here comes January. She popped in back in, called me, sent me email. She was working at the hospital. She got laid off. And she was worried about her rent. So I right, so she wanted my... money from you, right? Yeah, well... It's, well, it's, the it's, answer is no. It's, 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 a very long, it's, it's a very long story. The but answer is no. I don't, care how, I don't care if the story takes three days to tell. When a woman from another state tells you she needs money for rent, the answer is no. Okay, well, anyway, I got involved mentally, so... Um, I thought, so you, you know, sent her I the money? To, well, I've been, I've been sending her money ever oh. since. What's the question? Uh, Albert, you're, you're killing me. What is the question? The question is this, how I can get rid of her, how I can get her out of the life. Stop when sending I, her money. I, Stop sending her she, money. When I tell her, then she cries that she doesn't want uh, Who cares? You said you wanted to get rid of her. Make her cry. Okay. All right. So that's the only solution, huh? Because I, I that a, that's a good solution and an effective one. Okay. Number one, you don't have a relationship. She lives in another state. Okay. Number two, you don't owe her any money. Okay. It's that simple. Okay. All right. And whenever you know, I asked her to come fly out here. Or you want me to come out there? There's always reason, you know. Ah. Oh. 
Yeah, come on. Are you that stupid? Did you just fall off the turnip truck? Huh. huh. Okay. And, uh, you know, supposedly she's... Uh... Next thing you know, she's going to tell you she's the prime minister of Nigeria. <laughs> well... I don't know. And, um, you know, supposedly she's a good cat. Hey, 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 zero tolerance policy, pal. Yeah. Uh, the BS word is not permitted on the program. For a complete list of the words not permitted on the program, go to our MySpace. It's MySpace.com slash Tom Likas. MySpace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, class is in session, kids. This is your opportunity to talk to the professor. Now all you have to do is dial. Well, it's 101. Welcome to the class. Spend less dough and get more ass. So maybe you want a steak. Maybe you gotta wait, because I ain't spending more than $40 on a date. Yeah. Buy ya, lick it, don't buy ya. B, if she answers the cell phone, disappear. Yeah. Wanna get laid? Gotta be an oh. asshole. Spike, use prophylactics with Tabasco. Hit it, quit it, no time to spoon. These are the rules of Professor Pooh. Got a knocked up, but you're looking to switch. Pull a Hail Mary and dump that bitch. Kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. Like, kiss 101. Like, kiss 101. Welcome to class, son. Like, kiss 101. Dumb one 800 5800 tom one 800 866 It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. It's the Tom Likus Show, Likus 101. At one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number. Your questions for your professor, Harry, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you doing, brother? I'm doing okay, Harry. Uh, so I'm calling about your forty dollar rule for a date. You know, yeah. uh, I just don't think it's enough. Uh, it's enough money. You know, it's not. I mean, how are you supposed to like go out and enjoy yourself, have a nice steak, and a you know, a couple of glasses of nice wine or a bottle? Now, maybe, the, the, like you it. you can do that anytime you like. You just don't spend that on a woman. But. I mean, I'm going to go out with the woman anyway. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Like, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Spend it for you? Once you like, spend whatever you spend on the first date, sets the bar for the future. Okay. All right. I can see that. I mean, all right. Let's and not spending money on good food and wine does not make it any more likely you're going to get laid. It is a waste of money. I, I completely agree with you. Like, I mean, the, the sole reason behind it is that I personally want the good food and the good Fantastic. drink Fantastic. So here's what you do. Call your uh, buddies, uh, call your parents, call uh, someone from the office, people you do business with, your, your attorney, your doctor, uh, your accountant. Take them out to dinner at a great restaurant. Show them how much you care about the work they do for you. Show your parents how much you love them. Yes. Show your friends that you can uh, splurge. I Don't do it well, with a stranger. But uh, you shouldn't be. Oh, well, why are you arguing with me? You called in here. I'm telling you that uh, it it will not get you laid. It does not accomplish anything. And you can have fine food and fine wine anytime with any number of other people. Okay, all right, I hear you. But on but top of that, that you should help. you should be trying you should be trying to avoid dinner at all costs, not just because of the cost of it, but because of the time you're going to be spending. The more time you spend chit-chatting over, over food and drink, the more likely it is you're going to say something she's going to use against you to keep you from getting sex. Oh, my God. You're so right, dude. I never thought of it that way. How many times have you put your foot in your mouth? It could be anything. You could say you don't like cats, or you could say you're a Republican, or you could say uh, you do or don't believe in abortion. Right, or you right. could say you're voting for McCain and she's voting for Obama. Yeah, it could be anything. Okay, all right. I got your logic behind it now. Yeah, I just, I just wasn't sure why you would put like such a low limit on it, but I suppose it makes sense. That the idea is to keep you from wasting time and putting yourself into a position to fail. Wow, you you really put some thought behind these rules, you have, eh? I have a lot of experience. 
That's great. That's great. I love it, man. I listen to you all the time. By the way, one more thing, just a general uh, recommendation to you. Um, always a good idea to shut up as much as possible and let her blather on. Okay, yeah. yeah I'm with you on that. I totally agree there. Give her no information. Tell her nothing. Don't talk to her about your relationship with your family or your job. Just keep it to a minimum. Let her believe you got a lot of money, a lot of ambition, a lot of potential, and then right. let her do all the talking. Cool, man. Thanks. Thanks for the advice, Tom. All right, Harry. Uh, take me out with a uh, Freddie Wilhite, please. Okay, Harry, here you go. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me, and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I'll see if she's alive. She's alive? She's dead. I think she's dead. It's Joe on Lycus 101 with your professor, Tom Lycus. Hello. Hey, Dad, you'll be real proud of me. Do tell. Yes. Yes, sir. Guess what? I'm 32, no kids, never been married. Was in a horrible relationship, DTB. Now I got uh, three of them in the bullpen. I'm handling it like it style. I love that. Love it. You know, uh, you know, I was in a, a real bad uh, position in life. So I was listening to like this. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my butt off the chair. I got two killer jobs. All that money I spent on her, I restored my uh, my classic car. I got more tail. You know, all I hear is Tom. You know what I hear, Tom? This is what, what? I hear. You know what that is? What's those that? are the those are the panties flying off. <laughs> and you know what? I, I heard all these people on the radio. All these guys need to man up. If they think that this stuff doesn't work, it works like a charm. When I meet a girl, I tell them right off the bat, I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want kids. I don't like kids. All I want to do is go out, have a little fun, have a couple of drinks, and that's it. That's all I want. No expectations from me. I Sounds good to beach. me. Oh, man. This, like it's 101, I'm taking it to the grave. <laughs> Good for it you. Works. Hey, Tom, thank you for everything. Take me out with a bong hit and a Snoop Dogg. Here you go, Joe. Biatch. Like us 101 with your professor, Tom Likas, at 1-800-5800-TOM. Austin, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Well, uh, my story is that I'm 15, and uh, I recently got, I have an on-school police officer at my high school, and uh, he's, a, he's a real cop, and he gave me two tickets for sexual harassment on my bus, and uh, I, it was for a, a, a girl alleged, or told that I... Hey, I, thank you for calling. Yeah! Oh, what makes you think you can say that phrase? On the radio. Generally speaking, if the first two words of a phrase are suck my, chances are the third word will not be acceptable. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's like it's 101 with Alex. Hello. And Alex went away at the last second. Bob, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm okay. Hey, Tom, I uh, got this little problem. I was going out with this girl. Notice I said was. Uh, for a couple of years, uh, we were supposed to go on a trip this weekend. She was supposed to take me on a trip. Uh, about a week, two weeks ago, she just stopped talking to me. Stopped talking, stopped calling, and when I did finally get a hold of her, she was, like, annoyed. So after a week, I, once I got over the shock, I dumped that, you know what, and... Uh, but my question is, is what happened? She won't she probably, me. She probably met someone else. Wow. I mean, that, that, that was one of the rules, too. Hey, if you meet somebody, just uh, speak up. No, I mean, the point is, uh, if she stopped calling, <laughs> hooray. Yeah, I mean, hey. what do you do? What do you need a relationship for anyway? That's true, but, uh, you know, it, it takes a little while, Tom, when you when you care about somebody. You can't just, like, uh, cut them off. You can cut them off. Oh, yeah. Knees, yeah but, well, the know. point is, after a while, after, look, after you've had your heart carved, uh, some people's initials carved into your heart enough times, uh -huh. you wouldn't believe how easy it is uh -huh. to not fall for them. Okay. But uh, that's the only thing. She's got somebody else. By the way, what were her initials? Uh, <laughs> C C T. C T. 
<laughs> yeah, I uh, I get the message there. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Wow. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like us 101 with your professor at 1-800-5800-TOM. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Huh? Yes. Man, I'm in a situation. You got to help me out, man. Give me the best advice you got for me, bro. I, I, I moved in with this girl. I, I didn't never listen to you, never listen to my brother or my cousin. They're always telling me, man, you got to listen to this guy's show, and I'm not a big talk, talk show guy. But I, one day I just listened, and damn, I was like, what, what am I doing with this girl here in my crib? But now her name's on the lease, and she don't want to leave till till January. So uh, you may have to move yourself? Nah, because my name's on there, too. I understand that. Uh, have you talked I got to your, all my stuff here, like my the bed, the couch. Have you ta- have you ta- my- well, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. Have you talked to your landlord? No. Why did you put her name on the lease, by the way? I don't know, man. I was um, I was a fool. I mean, I, ne- I never even, I don't know, man. I, was just, I wasn't even thinking. Uh, clearly. So <laughs> what is that, January 1st she's leaving? When is the lease uh, up? It should be January. I'm not, I don't have an exact date, but it's on January. But the, the lease is up in January. Yeah. Well, I mean, you should be using this time to either prepare for her departure, or but you should certainly be going out with other people. For sure. I'm about to go out tonight with the boys. Good. But um, but I, I want mean, to uh, January, uh, you, are, you are two months away from January 1st, give or take a week. Yeah, but, man, she got to sleep next to me, though, every day, like all day. Well, why do you sleep in the same bed? That's the only bed we got, and I try to kick it to the couch, and she's nags, and I don't want and just to not even hear her nag. Like, I just put up with her. Right. Just, all right, let me ask you about Let me ask you about the utilities. Who pays the electric bill? She does. She does. It's in yeah. her name. Yeah, well, it's on both, but she pays the utilities, she pays the electricity, water, and trash. Oh, how about the others? Uh, cable TV? Uh, cable? Uh, my homeboy hooked me up, so I'm, I'm settled with that. What about the internet? No, uh, no internet. You don't have internet? No, nah, I'm like that. If I, if I need that, I go to my mom's crib, but. Right. Uh, well, uh, your buddy at the uh, cable company, uh, why don't you ask him to disconnect you for a while? But then I can't because I'm, I mean, my schedule for work random, so I might be even home just doing nothing, you know? I, I'm trying to help you get her out. Okay, 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 let's do this. Okay, I'll do that then. I mean, as an example. Okay, go ahead. Do you pay any of the bills you just, or do you pay the 100% of the rent? I mean, why is she paying the bills? Because that was just part of the deal. Like I told her, you know what, we'll get our own crib, I mean, our own place. You pay the utility bills, I'll pay 75% of the rent, and you pay the rest of that. And you still pay ah, the but the uh, the lease doesn't say you pay seventy five percent of the rent, does it? No. So you're only required to pay fifty percent of the rent. Uh, uh, technically, yeah. Not technically, legally. Okay, legally. So start paying fifty percent. <laughs> but then, what if she can't do the rest? I'm gonna get evicted, and my credit's gonna go bad. I want to uh, get no, no, because you're gonna tell the landlord you're responsible for half the lease. And you have your half right here. So then I could go ahead and go to my landlord and just be like, here's half of my rent. The other, the other half is going to be provided by the other person? or Well, you could try that, sure. Okay. Now you're, you're, by the way, did you have a checking account together? How do you, uh, how do you pay that rent? I don't know. The checking account stuff, we did that. I canceled it. As soon as I started listening to you, man, for real, I'm not even lying to you. Like, I canceled it. She was like, what? How come we don't have this credit card working no more? I'm like, because I canceled it. She's like, you're tripping. Are you listening to, you listen to that guy, Tom Likas? I told her, yeah. Because when I used to pick her up from work, I put it on your station. She's like, you better change that. I'm like, girl, it's my card. <laughs> but she don't like you at all, not one bit. Like, she, if she hears me talking to you on the radio right now, she'll probably come home talking about, why are you calling Tom Likas talking all your mess? Well, maybe, maybe if you're lucky, she'll leave. <laughs> she says she's... I don't know, man. She talked. Did she, she talked. say she would leave? Fantastic. Perfect. I know. I would love it, man. I want to be partying here with my boys and just chilling, watching football. Great. Uh, by the way, uh, whose bed is that? Whose bed? That's my bed. 
I got any friends who could take it off your hands for a few weeks? <laughs> man. Oh, man, I didn't want to talk on the radio about that, but... I got Chris, some... you, you asked me how to do this. Okay. You're not required to let her sleep in your bed. Okay. How about uh, other furniture? Well, uh, couch is mine. Everything's mine in this house. The only thing she has of hers is her clothes and the stools. <laughs> she could Great. The stools. Well, if I were you, how about the TV set? No, that's all mine. No, well, if I were you... I get the buddies uh, when she's not around and uh, remove all your stuff. But now where am I going to stay at, though? I don't go get back yourself, to my mom. Get yourself an air mattress or something. You could go uh, right over to Target and pick up an air mattress. <laughs> oh, that'll be funny. But, but what, what are you laughing at? Chris, I've used these methods. I've used them. Bro, but I mean, but, well, I don't get what am I going to put all this stuff at, though? Like. Man, I need, but like... Get a storage facility for a couple of months. Only for a couple of months. Or get a friend with a garage. Damn. All right. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're asking for help, and then everything I try to tell you to do, you say you can't do. No, no, no. I'll do it. No, no. I'll, do no, it. Bro, come on. I've been Don't do I'm anything a... that makes life comfortable for her. Okay. So also, I'm, stop right now, having... Today, stop having... Stop Today, having. With girls. Are you listening to me? No, stop. You're cutting off. My bad. Stop. Stop having sex with her. Oh no, we've been doing that. We we stopped already. Great. That's that was that was with already like about two weeks ago. So she knows you want her out. Yeah, she knows. I told her. And yeah. and the reason she's staying is what now? Because her name's still on the lease till January. What if you told her you'll pay the whole rent? I told her. I mean, I told her to leave. Like, you can't even afford half of the rent. I told her I'll just take care of myself. Just leave. Go somewhere else. In fact, you could go to the landlord and uh, with her and say that the two of you agree that, you, that that it'll only be your name on the lease. It'll only be your responsibility. Okay, I'll probably go over there right now after I hang up and just go talk to the landlord. I think that's a good idea. All right, Tom. That's all I, was, that's all I had to ask. Um, you take me out, call me with a... Was it a Mexican screen? Yes, yes, I can, Chris. Oh, oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Like us 101. I'm your professor, 1 800 5 800 Tom. Here comes Walter on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. What's going on, Father? How you doing? I'm doing okay, Walter. All right, well, great. Well, this is a situation, boss. Uh, I'm a 22 year old um, with a four year old. I'm a single dad. Why and, did you uh, do that? Uh, I was thinking with my head, and now with my head. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I, I don't even know. I have more reason. But either way, the responsibilities came upon, and I, I took care of everything as as it was. Uh, apparently, me and the baby mama broke up. Uh, she put up child support, you know, um, take it out of my check, whatever. Um, according to cu to cu custody um, um, permissions, uh, I'm only allowed to see my son two times out of the month. So, um, you know, she she wasn't working at the time, so you know, I gave her more money. Why did so, you do that? Um, in the sense that I, I wanted to see my son more, and she at the time uh, she was letting me see my son more. I mean, it wasn't really that much money, you know. I mean, I mean, I, I know you don't agree to that, but um, you know, at the time I was I really needed to partake in my son's life, and I, money wasn't even a thing to me. But um, during the first uh, three years, everything was going great. You know, me and her mutually agreed to a lot of things, and he'll he'll spend the night with me, and I'll go out with him and whatnot. And um, well, for the last uh, since he turned four on February, she's been really busting, you know, my neck, and well, basically, um, you know, I, I I give up more money now, and basically, I just. Uh, there's nowhere else I could go now because I she doesn't want to give me more time with my son. Why and didn't I, you get an I, attorney? I'm sorry. Why didn't you get an attorney? I can't afford it. And you, but you you can afford this. I'm sorry. 
you can afford giving her all this child support that you're not required to give her? You can afford that? I, I mean, I mean, I, 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 I'm telling you, I was really bored towards the whole situation. I, I never paid attention to the to the court papers. I was really dull with everything. Yeah, and, but now, look, are you an adult now? Yes. Then it's time to act like an adult. Yeah, yeah, that's my problem. And Hire I, an attorney. Uh, I, uh, yeah, but what about the money situation? <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm a concierge. You're a concierge in a hotel? Yes, in a high-rise building. In a, in an apartment building? Yes. Right, and uh, you didn't go to college because you were going to Bonham Young University? <laughs> I suppose. Right. So this is about as far as you're ever going to get in life, correct? No, it's not. I mean, I, I do have a lot of ambition, you know, but it's just... Yeah, well, um, where is it? I don't see it. <laughs> well, that's what I'm calling you for, that. Um, where is the ambition? What are your ambitions? Well, basically, I, I just, you know, I can't do this mutual thing with her no more, so... Now, we're talking about that. We'll get back to that in a second. What are you going to be when you grow up, Junior? I always... Uh, a civil engineer. And how, mean, are you, how in the world are you going to be a civil engineer? I have, like, school. When will that be? Uh, that's... I, I was in school, I rolled already, but then just the band and, and, and everything. I don't make that good of money, you know? So you'll never be a civil engineer, right? Yeah, yeah. if I don't, if I don't you know, if I don't, if I don't tie it up, yeah. I mean, you're 22 years old. When are you going to start going to school? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's just my problem, too, you know? I, just, hey. I, need, to get my, I need to get my act together, too. I mean, that's just for myself, you know? Yeah, you do. Yeah. You need an attorney. End of story. All right. And if uh, you will not get an attorney, at the very least, only pay what you're required to pay and not a penny more. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, all right. Well, I mean, yeah. All right. I guess I need to do that then. If you're not going to get an attorney, I think you're a fool not to get an attorney. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, I, I guess I need to go shopping for an attorney then. I think yeah, I, you yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really blunt towards all of these things, too, because I've never really, i never been through the whole process, you know? That's because you're a little baby. You're 22 years old, dealing with adult problems. Yeah. And you don't know how to deal with adult problems because you're still a little kid. Exactly. You knew how to get laid, and you knew how to knock somebody up. That's true. Yeah. Right? Right. So, all right. Um, wow. Well. Do you know how to find an attorney? Oh, uh, the internet, I suppose. No, no. Have you, have you ever had an attorney for any purpose? Uh, never. So you've never had a car accident? No. You've never inherited money from somebody in your family? No, never. I mean, what about your, no. what about your parents? Do they have an attorney? No. No, I'm a, I, mean, I stay on my own. So you've asked your parents and they told you, we don't have an attorney? Yeah, I mean, it's just, well, it was just me and my dad, you know? Yeah, dad, your dad never had a car accident? No, I mean, no. Your dad was no. never sued by anybody? I, I, no, oh, well, I never went as far as, as asking him for that, but um, I guess I could. That's what. That's how you find an attorney, son. Okay. I'm trying to tell you how to be an adult. Okay. Here's what the here's what the grown ups do. We we meet somebody who has an attorney they trust, and we say, "Can that attorney get me a child custody attorney?" I'm not sorry, child custody? Child custody, okay. domestic affairs, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And then you go meet with that person. Mm. And they will charge you. Yeah, that's the bad part. <laughs> well, guess what? You got yourself into an adult situation and now you've got to fix it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Got it? I got it. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, son. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's the Tom Likas Likas Show. Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Likas 101. I am your professor. We have the shortest commercial breaks we have ever had, ever. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Here's Andrew on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Father, how are you doing? Doing okay. Hey, uh, quick question, Tom. You know, I've been using uh, Likas 101 for a very long time, and it's worked very well for me. You know, I've been listening to you for a couple years now. I was turned on to it from my cousin, and... um, you know, I've, I've been listening to the $40 day rule a lot, and my question was, uh, you know, since, since I've been using that rule, you know, I've been, I've been getting more, you know, ass in the toilet seat lately, you know. My main question is, um, for these, like, high-maintenance women, how do you, like, counter-react the $40, you know, day rule? Because you don't want to seem cheap to them, but, you know, you still want to. I Why guess, not? I mean, because those women are, like, you know, very good looking women usually you can no, no first of all rich women are not always good looking uh huh they're not uh second of all understand that uh, uh the fact is you can't impress them anyway because they've had anything they want that yeah that's true that's true i like not not as a relationship standpoint though you know just basically trying to go out there and, and meet a woman and maybe have a one night fling you know what i mean yeah, but spending money doesn't make you any closer. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make you any closer to getting laid. Uh, so, I mean, what? Because I know I've heard you talk in the in the past before about you know sometimes maybe t- telling some fallacies, you know, telling people you know I'm a producer, this and that. Maybe when yeah. you go out, does that's that, correct. Does that really work? Yes, it does. Uh, we've talked to guys who've uh, told us how it works. Yes, it works. Hmm. What are some, like, lies that you've used in, in the past? Lies that I've used in the past are, well, before I was a radio personality, I said I was a radio personality. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, believable ones. Talk about something you know about. Uh-huh. A uh, big football player, you're on the secondary line of the Chicago Bears. How's she going to check? <laughs> uh, that's true. So, I mean, because I live over here in... Um like I would say, like the 605 area, the outskirts of L.A. Mm-hmm. You know, so we're close to Orange County. So there's a lot of, um, like, Orange County, I guess you'd say, some stuck-up people once in a while, you know, when you go out there and you meet them. So I was just trying to figure out, like, how to really um, maybe go out or maybe once to try to seal the deal and, and, and close them without, you know, coming off cheap or them being, like, really high-maintenance kind of women, you know. Well, uh, again, uh, there's nothing wrong with seeming cheap. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you follow my instructions to stay away from uh, anything that involves long stretches of conversation, like Uh dinner, you'll never seem cheap because you won't be at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. What's a good, like, what are good activities besides, I know you said, like, maybe go out for drinks because that will definitely get them a little tipsy, you know? Yeah. What about it? And then I, I want to know, like, um, I mean, what other activities are, are good to do that will um, put them in the mood, you know? Well, I think the, the chemical alteration is the best way to get women to do what you want. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Because, you know, like you said, I don't want to go out. And uh, I've done that, what you said, gone out on dates and spent tons of money. And at the end of it, I'm, I'm the guy with uh, the thing in my hand just sitting there, you know? Yeah, yeah I understand. But I'm, I'm telling you, you just want to keep it short and sweet, uh-huh. get her buzzed, get her to her place. You don't want to take her to your place. Uh-huh. I mean, if she's rich, she's going to find out where you live. No good. No good. Mm-hmm. Well, really, I mean, do you look like you live in a rich person's apartment? Um, well, I, I mean, I dress pretty nice when I go when I go to work and stuff. Yeah, but what is your what is your what does your residence look like? Um, it's it's pretty decent. It's not too too bad. I mean. Of course, where I live, there's always gangs and people tagging everyone. Well, she probably lives in a better place than you do, so it's that much more important uh-huh. that you go to her place. Mm. Uh, very good point. Don't bring her to my place. That, do not. 
Okay. Will that be like self-destruction for myself? Why would you want to do it? Um, I don't know because uh, I don't know because maybe she doesn't live at home or maybe she doesn't have her own place. <laughs> She's rich. Ah, hmm. got my eyes open, Tom. <laughs> think about that. <laughs> She's rich. She probably has her own place. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna definitely look into that. Um, Tom, I, you know what? I liked it when I saw you on Channel Nine the other day. Thank you. Was it like, uh, was that last week? A couple of weeks ago. I love the way that you know you really didn't give a damn what the people in the studio really, really like. Were, you didn't care. Like you just were open to doing whatever you wanted. That's what I did, and I'll do it again. And I like that, Tom. That's why I like you. Tom, can you take me out with the bong rip? Here you go, Andrew. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, look at these calls. I'm going to take a quick one. Uh, Amber, we have one hey, minute. Tom. Amber, what can I do for you? Well, I'm in the adult entertainment telephone industry, and so, I had a question for so you. So you engage in you engage in you, think, you engage uh, in hello. Can you hello? hear me? Yes, you engage in phone sex for, for money. Is that right? All right. Correct. And I was wondering if you think uh, I should tell guys when I first start dating them. Have you ever told a guy you do that? Um, not yet. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't have to be honest with anybody about anything as long as you're not planning on marrying them or settling down with them. If your plan is just to hook up with people, yeah, you can be whatever you want to be. But if I start to like somebody, you know, I wonder how long I should wait, you know. Well, it's like anything else you tell people. I mean, when you, when you hook up with somebody, how much do you tell them about yourself? Well, the basics. Why? Because you're, that's what getting to know you is. You're not trying to get to know them. You're hooking up. <laughs> well, I like to get to know people before I hook up with them. I don't know what you like to do, Tom. Well, then it isn't hooking up. It's dating. Ew. The Tom Likas Show.